Hello and welcome to my demonstration system on SAS. In this demonstration, I will be describing and explaining what I have learned in SAS and applying it to two different data sets with similar variables. Now, the two data sets that I have chosen are from this website and they are crime statistics from the Derbyshire Constabulary and the Metropolitan Police Service. Now, these two data sets have over 10,000 results and they were chosen simply because they contain the same variables and this is easier for me to sort into SAS. Now the first thing I did with both data sets is I cleansed them by replacing the gaps with underscores. This is relatively easy to do in Edexcel and this is done because SAS does not import data with gaps. Now, the second thing I did was obviously import my data which I went about importing the data, select the import type which was Microsoft Workbook and also finding a pathway with the XLSX files. However, I selected all files so the pathway would be easier for SAS to recognize. Then I also uh, sorted the files into a library which I had pre-made called SAS with the lib name and these data sets were given simpler names such as D1 and D2 so they were easy to decipher for myself. After that these are the results that I got and as you can see they are easy to read and you can see the underscores showing that the data has been cleansed. Second thing I did was sort the data. As you can see this is the code that I used to sort the data and I sorted it in alphabetical and ascending order so that it would be easier for the reader to read it. Now, this code was imported in for dataset one, as you can see here, dataset one. And as you can see here, it's very hard to see, but you can see here that it starts off with A, antisocial behavior. And then I moved on to dataset two. Obviously, it's the same code, just changing dataset two. And you can see here more clearly antisocial behavior. It starts at A and then goes on to B, C, etc. The third thing I did was merge the data. Here you can see I've created a new file called data3. This is because it would be the data1 and data2 merged together. Then I use this code to merge the two data sets with the same variable crime type. This is because crime type had been sorted previously and it would be easier to merge the two data sets on this variable. Bam! This is the results that I got. And as you can see here, there's a mixture of both data set 1 and data set 2 here, which shows that the data, data sets were merged successfully. Then the third thing I did was create a graph out of the data sets to analyze the data sets in a further concept. The third thing I did was go on ODS Graphics Designer, as you do. And then it gave me a wide range of options I could choose from. However, vertical bar is the simplest to show my data. And I chose the library, the data set, obviously this is data set one, and then the category I chose for crime type because obviously, I, as I stated before, that variable has been sorted. This is the icon I got for data one, data two, and data three. Now the comparisons, as you can see, the main comparisons are that the frequency is relatively higher on data two than it is on data one. And this is because there was more data in data set two than there was in data set one. However, the similarity being that the antisocial behavior and violent sexual offenses was relatively high on all graphs actually. And uh, the main difference between data set three and data set one being the same difference that there was with dataset 1 and dataset 2 being that the frequency on dataset 1 goes barely over 2500 whereas on dataset 2 and 3 it goes up to 15,000 showing that both dataset 2 and 3 have more data in them than dataset 1. Now for the conclusion I would like to say that the data imported successfully and it was relatively easy to do however I would next time look for data with more patterns in it and also try and clean it up a little bit more. Thank you for listening and good night.